Hello everyone, I am Pankaj Chaudhary and today we are going to learn Getter and Setter in Python. As per the object oriented principles, one should have properties as private and changes must be allowed through the methods only. This rule is for enforcing the guarantee that there will be no accidental change of properties. If we make properties as public, then others can directly change it and by using getter setters, we can have primitive data validation with it. Let's take an example of getter and setter methods. We have a class point and init method where we have declared one private variable x, which is initialized by this variable x. Now we have another method get x which is used to get the value or it will return the value of this private variable x. So here we are returning the private value of x and the set x method which takes an argument to reinitialize or set the value of this private variable x. Now let's take an another example of it where we have the same point class and now we have using this private attribute inside this get x and set x and we are restricting this initialization by set x methods so in set x methods we are also checking some validations like the value of x should be less than 0 and it, it should not be less than 0 and it and it should be less than 1000 so here if the value is less than 0, then it will be initialized with 0. If value is greater than 1000, then it will be initialized by 1000. And if it is in between, then it will be initialized with that value. So here we are setting some set of validations by setting this set method like this. And we are using this set method here so that we can uh, at the time of initialization of this x variable, we can check all these conditions so in the first case it is not possible in the second case of the same example it is possible to set some validation over setting some values of the x now the pythonic way of getter and setter methods in pythonic way let's take an example we have a class point where we have declared one variable x so in pythonic way we are setting we are using properties decorator so in properties decorator is what you need you you have to use at the rate symbol in, in front of property so this is a property and this at the rate represents the decorator so we are using property decorator then we have a method name x so this at the rate property is used to return the value of x and to set the value of x we have to use the property name dot setter like this at the rate x dot setter to set the value and the remaining is same in both the method the depth that function declare we have is of same name x here and x here you can see and the validation condition of initializing that x variable is same here we can also like in this self dot x equals to x we are initializing we are assigning something to the x we are assigning something to x so in this case this setter method is this setter method is going to be called and the value of x is validated and set accordingly so here the actual variable exist is under uh, double underscore x which is a private attribute and the another way of using this the getter and setter method of the same without using decorators is the property method so here we have using get x and set x method with same statement inside it and we are using here this x equals to property so here we are passing the method name get x and set x to set x as a property now we will see a live example of this getter and setter method so you must you have a clear understanding of how to set the getter and setter method in python so let's see a simple example of getter and setter method now we will declare one 
point class with an init method taking only one argument called x and initializing a private attribute x with this x now in this point class we have one private attribute x now let declare get x method with the help of this get x we will get the value of this private variable get x and a set x method which is used to set the value of this private variable now we have two methods let's create an object of this point class by passing 10 as a number now if i say print p dot get x then this method will return the value its object it takes no parameter point 10 line number 14 here is the init method we need to declare so if we see the output here we will get 10 as in the output as we have passed 10 here now let's set the value of point p by calling this set x method and we are changing it to 20 now let's see what will be the output of it now you can see here initially it was 10 when we have initialized it and after changing it to 20 we are getting the value of get x 20 so this is a simple way of this is a simple way of creating a getter setter methods in python and now in this method you can see we have not set the validation now if we set the value of x must be less than 0 If it is less than 0, then in that case we need to set it to 0. Else if, if the value of x is greater than 1000, then in that case we have to set it equals 2000. Otherwise we can set it to the value given by the user so here we are checking some sort of validation that when we are going to initialize it we should check it first now instead of this we can call this method and pass x in it so here we can check it if, we, if I execute it we are getting the same output but if I change it to 2000 then you can see the result here it will be initialized to 1000 only so by setting like this we are setting some rules so that we can validate the value we are going to initialize x so this is the validation case of this example now let's see have a pythonic way for creating Pythonic way of getter and setter methods Again, we are going to declare one point point class. In this class, I'm going to declare the init method and which is used to initialize one single parameter. Now self dot x equals to x. I will show you what is this x here. 
Okay, we are still using the private attribute, but in this case, we are using property decorator. So I am going to declare one method called x. This property is used to get the value. Then self dot double underscore x. So this will return the value of x. self dot x and at the rate x dot setter decorator to set the value of x which takes self and x as an argument and uh, we are going to set this value private value x to this x now to demonstrate it, I will declare one method set is uh, this print statement will tell us that that particular method is called now in get x and set x and uh, let's see the example of it by creating an object of this point class by passing 10 now let access this value python in this way by declaring property we can access this methods like this and it will return the value of point x now let's see the output this is the pythonic way by declaring like this, you don't need to call getx and setx method. You can directly access this x attribute, but actually is double underscore x. Now here you can see the output. You can see get is called, uh, sorry, set is called and get is called. This set is called when we have created this object. So this is called, this init will call, this init will initialize this value x to this x. In that case, this setter is called. So that's why we have get the message set is called now we are get we are drawing going to access the value of it so in that case you can see the get is called is appeared here and we have got the value 10 now if i change this value like this i am going to set it 100 and uh, again i am if i am going to print it now if you see the output set is called get is called 10 set is called get is called 100 so in that case we have again set the value that's why this set is called and in here we are getting the value that's why get is called and it returns 100 so this is the way you can see this property is working now the another way of this pythonic way of declaring the property is just declared a method with get x and set x and within the definition we can declare a property called x property get x set x is still it working in the same way as it was working earlier S is not defined, so there is that S. Get is called, set is called, get is called 10, and then set is called by setting it to 100. So I hope you have understand the concept of getter and setter in Python, or how to set it in a Pythonic way. Thank you for watching this video.